Hi, I'm Jonathan J. Reinhardt from Wargaming Recon. Today we're going to take a look at the LED illuminated floor from Dwarven Forge's Castle Builder line. Right here you can see the box. It shows a little picture of what is inside. Color-coded label, brand new from Dwarven Forge for how they're handling it. And as we open it up, you get a peek at what comes in here. So there's a bunch of pieces. Right here, I'm showing you the Magic Fountain floor cover. You're seeing the Serpent Obelisk floor cover. This is a nice little uh, mirror floor, so it helps with reflecting light, so you can kind of get a better look at it. There's also an Arcane Circle floor cover and a Coal Pit floor cover, plus the LED illuminated floor. This right here is the Arcane Circle floor cover. It's beautifully painted. All of these that I'm showing you are from their painted set, which is $34 American or you can pay $30 American for unpainted. And then right here is the LED illuminated floor. And you're gonna see it's elevated up. Right here, I have it uh, with something I've recently discovered that you can put city builder pegged corner posts into it, which are what you see on each corner, and city builder walls. And that allows you to either add this into a build for a building or something like that, or you can actually elevate it up. So right here, you see that it is elevated up. Just kind of twisting it around and moving it. You can see it doesn't stick together incredibly well, so you would need something underneath. But you get an idea for how you can do it. And if we just take the posts out, you can see the corners are actually really easy to get out. And it just kind of gives you a view of that. Having four is wonderful for extra stability. And so you can add those walls in if you want to. Looking at the bottom, you can see the four holes on each corner. And that middle section, uh, actually right there at the bottom, there's a little lip. If you open it up from there, you can use a flathead screwdriver that opens up the panel and allows you to change the batteries. It uses CE2032 batteries, I believe. And right here, there's a toggle switch on the inside in between two of the LEDs. If you uh, switch it one ring, you get this nice white LED light. It's a very steady light. You can use it for all sorts of stuff here with the Arcane Circle floor cover. If you position it just right, you can kind of get some light showing up. And you can uh, just kind of position it to get it really nicely over the pieces. And here, as we get a closer look, you can see it coming through the crystals. It looks really nice. And if you had some ambient light, maybe you lower the light a little bit, you get a better view. Here with the water fountain, this is something I really enjoy to give a nice look to the water. And you can actually line it up just right with the water streaming out of it. The Serpent Obelisk floor cover looks really nice with this to give a nice kind of look to the crystal. I think that's really cool. And then finally, you can also do it with a coal pit floor cover, which is nice, but not my favorite way with a coal pit floor cover, but definitely a look you can get. If you flip the switch the other way, you get this nice flickering warm orangey light, which works perfectly with the coal pit floor cover to kind of give the look of heat. And also with the Serpent Obelisk floor cover here, uh, again, with more ambient light and not in such a bright environment as you see here. I'm working with the focus a little bit to focus in more on the cover piece here of the Serpent. Uh, you can kind of get some nice flickering effect there. I think this flickering orange light works best also with the Arcane Circle floor cover right here. It gives a little more look to it. And you can also use it as well with the water. The water's not going to be that color, but maybe there's something underneath the water or something really cool that does that. And you get a nice reflection of the light by having that mirrored piece underneath it. You don't have to use it, but if you buy this and you see it at the bottom that's not trash, hang on to it. You can actually use this piece with a variety of builds. And I know it's put out with a castle builder line, which works really well with the city builder, but you can use it in other things. So here I'm showing you it in a, just kind of an off the cuff build, a quick build, using the KS2 Kickstarter 2 Caverns pieces and the Kickstarter Caverns Deep pieces. Those both work well together. Uh, but you can see here, maybe you have this in a cavernous area. Maybe there happens to be uh, a dark ritual happening. Maybe you're having a skirmish game, Frostgrave, or something going on, and you're in the caverns, or Oathmark, or Vikings, or you come up with it. it, it you could do historical with this, too. You really can. Uh, you don't have to use all the fantasy elements of it. Historical, you might want more with a coal fire pit or magic fire pit, but that's what you have. 
So if you want to get this, you can get it on over at dwarvenforge.com and buy it from them on the shop there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll check out all of our other videos that we have here on YouTube. Be sure to check out our podcast at wargamingrecon.com. 